Hello, my name is Beatrice Ken Hapuk. I am from Information System UPH Surabaya. Now, I will teach you video editing using Ulit Video Studio 11. First of all, take a look at this. There are two versions of Ulit Video Studio 11. The first one is Ulit Video Studio 11. This version aims for customers that requires more simple ways to edit videos, adding pictures, and some easy tools to make. The price of Ulit Video Studio 11 is about $90. But there are other versions of Ulit Video Studio 11 that called Ulit Video Studio 11 Plus. The price is $129. Why is this version is more expensive than Ulit Video Studio 11? Because in Ulit Video Studio 11 Plus, they give some professional tools that is not exist in Ulit Video Studio 11. So today we will, we are going to learn using Ulit Video Studio 11 Plus, but I will teach you all the basics only. Now, let's try to make the video editing. Click Hewlett Video Studio 11. And then, choose Video Studio Editor. Okay, this is the interface of Hewlett Video Studio. This is the storyboard view, where you can see the video clip, all the video clip into one storyboard but i suggest you to choose timeline view by clicking this one so you can make videos while adjusting the time this is the preview of the video that we are editing this is called the jog slider First of all, I will teach you how to import videos from your computer. Choose video and then click load video like this. And then choose the video that you want to add to your uh, video editing like this one. How to add this video? into this timeline it is very simple click in a video and drag it like this now how to crop the video into the part that we want to be you can start with playing the video and mark some time when you want to crop like this maybe and maybe this one okay like that so i can crop the video like this exactly at the place that i want to crop okay like that and now maybe uh, some of you ask how to split the video Move the jog slider into the part that you want to... Uh, let's try to play the clip first. Okay, like that. And now how to uh, split the video into two parts? Maybe I want to split it in this. Then I'll move the jog slider into the place that I want to split. And then click this one. Cut clip based on jog slider's position. Click. And then they are already been two clip, two different clip. So I can add images or videos in between these two clips. We can also give make this clip 
played faster than before. The first time uh, of this clip is about 3 seconds and 14. I, if I want to play it into 2 seconds only, like this. Okay. And it, it will play it faster than before, like that. Okay. Maybe faster so we can see the difference. Uh, that's how you make the video move faster. And then we can also give the clip uh, some filter by using the attribute. Maybe I want to give this clip, making this clip look like an old film. Then I'll choose an old film filter, click and drag it to the clip that I want to filter like this. And then that clip already turned into an old film. Wow, isn't that amazing? Or maybe I'll give it, uh, I'll give this clip the effect of bubble, maybe. Wow, then it already been turned. How do I, uh, replace the last filter? Or remove the last filter that I have give to this clip. It's easy. Choose the filter and then click delete filter. And then the filter already been deleted. But not this one. Okay, now I will teach you how to import images from the computer. Choose image and then click load image like this choose the image that you want to import click open the images that has been imported uh, click and drag it into the timeline like this we can adjust the length of the pictures in our video editing like this I want this picture to be look faster in the video like this oh before I forget we can zoom in and zoom out the timeline this is for us to look more details if we want to. Like this, we can look more details to the clip. Okay, like that. Now, let's play, let's play the video first. Okay, it look, it did look good. But maybe some of you asked, how to make the transition between this picture and this picture smooth then we should add the effect just the effect that you want to give like crossfade maybe and drag it between the clips that you have been give to the timeline like this Okay. With D 
this effect, then the picture would come out smoother than before. The transition will be more smooth. Check it out. Okay. It did look good. Now, we can also give filter to our pictures. Just click on the picture and then click attribute. Uh, choose the filter that you want to give to your picture, like maybe diffuse glow. Drag it to the picture like that. So the picture would glow like this. Or maybe you want this picture to be moving from left to right or from top to bottom. Then choose image. Click pen and zoom. Click this one, left to right. And then customize it. The first, it will come out in this part. The second, it would come out in this part, like that. So it would change like this. Ah, like that. Now I will uh, try to teach you something more advanced. Choose video. Now. We can try to give video masking to our video. Click on the clip and then put it on the second line of the timeline like this. Click mask and chroma key and apply overlay options like that. And then click the color that you want to be removed from the clip, like this maybe. So that color would be removed from the clip. it would give more great experience like this. Wow, isn't it good? Very easy and very simple. We can also give audio to our video. Click this, click audio, like that. And then choose the audio. For example, I'll choose True Worshipper Song. Click on the audio and drag it onto the timeline. Okay, like that maybe. Then I could adjust the audio by clicking the audio view. Maybe in this part I want the audio to be uh, louder. And in this part I want the audio to be lower like that and then in this part I want the audio to be normal again like that so the audio will play like this See the difference? Now, our video already look very good, very, very, very nice. The last thing that I want to teach is that we can give the title to our video. 
For example, I want this video in the beginning of the video. It will show the name of batteries. For example, like that. Now, the word batteries, click on it, and then apply animation to it. You can choose it between all these types. Maybe I'll choose the fade. Oh, maybe the flyer. And then the title would come out like this. Okay, like that. Now, how to make all the, the video that we have been added to a real video? Then you have to click share. Click on create video file. And then click custom. Choose the folder that you want to save the video and give your file name, for example, video. Choose the format, uh, maybe I'll choose .mpg and then click save. It is rendering right now. Okay, now our video has been edited. Let's try to play the video. Okay. Video that we have been edited. This is my presentation. Thank you for watching my tutorials and God bless you.